Hey everybody, welcome to BroTech. In this episode, I'm gonna be asking the question, is GameMaker better than Unity? Wait, what? All right, welcome back. First of this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more like subscribers you get, the more content we can make. And the number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get into the money-making trends before they go mainstream. So I'm gonna be asking the question today, is Game Maker better than Unity 3D? And that may be seem like such a weird thing to say, but believe it or not, that is exactly what crossed my mind late last night. So let's talk a little bit about Unity. Unity is actually a really good engine, and one of the best things about Unity is if you wanna make a complete game, like an indie game from scratch with a new kind of system or any kind of new mechanic from scratch, that is where I think Unity shines the most. It's harder to do this in the Unreal Engine, although not impossible, but if you wanna set something new, specifically a mobile or an indie game, Unity 3D is probably the best way to go about it. But here's the thing, Unity is not good at everything. Now, I was thinking about making like a Metroidvania or a Castlevania type game, and I was thinking, is Unity the best place to do this? Well, first of all, the Unreal Engine is probably not the best place to do it. Not only is there not a template on the Unreal Marketplace, but for 2D games, it's not quite as good. So Unity is a lot better, but then I thought, What's Game Maker doing? So one of the things about Game Maker is that I started using it way, way back in the late 2000s, and I thought it was pretty good. And the thing about Game Maker is that it has a long history of stability and, well, frankly, result. There's a lot of commercial games that have been made on it, and you can export to a lot of different platforms. Now, the thing is, is that usually I would say, you know, you can use Construct 3, but the fact that there's no native export really does hurt Construct 3. In fact, this is the one reason why I don't use it as much today, even though it is probably one of my favorite game engines ever. So let's go back to Game Maker versus Unity. Now, here's the thing. If I wanted to make a platformer, a 2D game, by the way, a 2D game, this is a 2D platformer like Mario or Castlevania or anything that's kind of retro, is Unity a good option or is Game Maker a better option? Well, of course, you could just download the Corgi engine for Unity, but I think that's a little bit too much overkill. I know that there's a lot of templates and the Corgi engine is pretty good. In fact, I should probably do a review on it at some point in time. And what would be really awesome is if the Corgi engine came to the Unreal Marketplace, but that's a story for a different time. So you could download the Corgi engine and make a game with that, and I think that's not necessarily a bad idea, but I think it's just too much. The Corgi engine is too versatile, and you're gonna be fighting with too much scope, and you're gonna be fighting with too many features. So you might be surprised that too many features in your game template might be a bad thing, but believe it or not, it can be, because you'll spend a lot of time learning all those features, and you might not use any of them. And remember, if you're making a game for the first time, you should be concerned about getting your game out there, not making the absolute biggest game possible. I highly recommend that you do not do that. So going back to is Unity a good thing? Well, you could make a platformer from scratch. It's not too hard. There's a lot of t uh, tutorials out there, but you know what's a better idea? I think if you want to make kind of more of a retro style mechanic type game, then I would just use Game Maker. And the reason for this is that it's just easier. There isn't as many features and you can pretty much do what you need to do with it. The reason why I say this is that, you know, Game Maker can export to all the areas, and if you want to make something of this retro style or just a 2D game, I would just use Game Maker because it's quite a bit easier to use. Now, having said that, if you want to make a 2.5D pl platformer, Unity is clearly the better option, and I highly recommend that if you wanna make a 2.5D platformer, then use Unity. It is definitely the better case. But if you wanted to make just a simple 2D one, I don't think Unity is the best option. I think Game Maker is actually a little bit better. And I was thinking about this late last night. I really didn't think that this was a good answer. You know, I said, well, you should just use Unity for everything, right? Well, 
I don't think so. So there are some other engines where using that specific engine might be a better case, and this is one of those examples. The reason is, is that you'll be able to make a lot of what you need to do within Game Maker fairly easily, and any extra functionality and any extra mechanics with your game that you need to make, Game Maker can absolutely handle. And furthermore, there is so much documentation and tutorials on Game Maker that it'll be very easy to find the answer. Now, of course, this is the same with Game Maker, Unity, and Unreal. There's a lot of documentation out there and documentation is key and for all the other newer engines that come out the lack of documentation is a big problem because if there's no documentation then people won't be able to find what to do it could be something as simple as how do I make this happen so the more tutorials that are out there the easier it will be for that person to get you their game out the door which is the whole point of game development so in conclusion if you want to make a somewhat more retro style game that's simply 2d and not 2.5d I would highly recommend that you just use game maker it's pretty good and it's not too expensive. I actually didn't mention the fact that Unity has a subscription that you have to basically subscribe to in order to get some features that you might need. Well, Game Maker doesn't do that. It has a one-time fee and it's a lot cheaper than Unity. So in conclusion, if you want to make a 2D platformer that's somewhat of the retro style, then I highly recommend using Game Maker over Unity in this particular case. All right, so that concludes this video. I want to know your thoughts down below. Do you think Game Maker is good? Is it still relevant in 2021? Please post as many comments as you can down below. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money you get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. Our goal is to get to 10,000 paid subscribers on Mammoth Interactive and if we can do that, we can release 200 to 300 hours of content per month, every single month. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. Not only do you make this YouTube channel possible, but you make my company possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.